Give it up for Tane and Lucy. And give it up for her wonderful parents for coming out here to support this evening. Thank you. Snap your fingers. Clap your hands. Come up to the microphone we have, Mr. Bob Auchincloss. We have a full list tonight. Last week, uh, you let me release my inner young angry woman, and that was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, uh, this week, I'm going to go for something more my age. I'm going to talk about aging. My qualifications, I was born February 1st, 1931, and that was a long time ago. That's 82 years ago. And Gold's got me up here. This is a piece about uh, a man and his mornings when he was 35, when he was 55, when he was 75. Mathematics, yes. One, two, three, four. If you can add up that. His mornings. He was 35. His eyes opened and he sensed her sweat and perfume on his skin. A warm, soft breeze came and went through the open windows. This was early morning, for the clock, 9.43 a.m. His mind held images of turquoise water lapping on white sand, the slow dance of grain in a sunny field, pure whitewashed walls and blue tile roofs warm coffee and soft rolls, a long note drawn on a cello, a steady light in the distance. They had pushed off the sheet. Their bodies in rest were nude. He was 55. His dreams brought him awake, lying next to her with his muscles tense. The black of night enclosed them, closing them said, said night. The clock said 12.13 a.m. He had dreamed of a white carnation, a child's wet footprint, tumbled sand in a sandbox, the crackle of an airport loudspeaker, words moving across the screen, programs to be learned, meetings to attend. She rolled over in her sleep. He felt her warm knee brush his thigh. He was 75. Awakened as she slept, he felt the pain in his knee. He touched his wrist to be sure of the pacemaker's steady pulse. The gray light filtered through the falling snow, flowed into the room, and said early morning. The clock said 4.23 a.m. His inner images were a dusting of white sand on Dart McAdam. The sensation of running uphill. At the top of the hill, a silent dark windmill. Dried purple leaves and three drops of blood on an aqua background. Sea foam on a winter, winter beach. The deep amber of dried marmalade on a white bread. She had pulled the blanket. He sensed the cold leaking into his back. Now, each morning he awakens, he thinks of the mornings that might be ahead. Thank you.